Hey guys, Stacy here uh, with the Battle Axe channel. I'm coming to you with a little bit of a different topic today I want to discuss with you. Um, over the last weeks, um, I simply have come to a point where um, I can't listen to any of the chatter anymore. Um, I cannot even tune in to um, um, ABC, NBC, Fox News, whatever. Sometimes I'll tune into those things just to keep an eye on what they're planning, so to speak. But I can't even, I can't put it on anymore. I am so, um, done with the narrative. And guys, as long as I've been following politics, and guys, I've been a politic junkie since, uh, high school. Um, and, um, in history, I've loved history, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I am to the point in my life where I see it for what it is. I see it for the lie, the two-sided deceptive lie that it is when reality is there's no two sides. You don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. I see the masses um, have been propagandized um, um, as a whole, not as left versus right. They've been propagandized as a whole to believe that the other side is the enemy, that, um, that it's, it's left versus right. It's Democrat versus Republican. And, um, guys, when all the while the true enemy is the deep state and the government in the middle driving it all, the media, you know, the propaganda, uh, peace, talking head of it all. And I want to talk to you today a little bit. And I've talked to in the past about this. I want to talk to you about brainwashing. If any of you do some, some simplistic research, just very simple research on brainwashing, the last two years, ha I mean, the, 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 the American public has been being brainwashed for 30 years now. I mean, it's since, actually, I should say since the TV, television came out. And there's a reason they call it the boob tube. There's a reason they call it telecasting, right? Um, they are, are putting forth uh, the ideas that they want you to believe. There's no such thing as, quote, news broadcasters anymore. There's no media source that just simply says... There was an accident on I-39 and, you know, three people were harmed and one was medevac There's no such thing as um, there was a shooting in Kenosha, Wisconsin, uh, where, um, you know, two people were injured, one was killed. We will find the details at a later date. There's no such thing as that. From, from, from point one of anything happening, you will hear there is a white male that shot. There is a black male that shot. There is a cop that shot. There was a black man that ran over, a white man that ran over. Um, all you hear is the, 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 the tribal drums beating over and over and over these same, same narratives. And one moment, guys. And Ruby, if you could take your bunny upstairs, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, she's got a bunny <coughs> here in the dining room and um, he's making a little noise. But so guys, you see this over and over. Um, you hear the constant narrative, um, uh, you know, the, you know, this person is the threat, that person. And, and it has gone so far now in the last two years that, um, especially after January 6th, if you were dumb enough to fall for that and go there and be a part of that uh, PSYOP, now the narrative is, is anybody that speaks against uh, the government that is not in agreement with the government is a domestic terrorist. That's the narrative. And guys, I'm going to post below a link to the Quash, which is the legal man. This is probably the most important um, webcast or, or audio that you will listen to this year. It puts into perspective the amount of brainwashing these last two years that has been propagated on the American people. The amount of absolute authoritarianism, totalitarianism, and guys, it's by technocrats. Make no mistake, this is a technocratic move 
to impose their will on you. Big pharma, call it whatever you want, snake bite, whatever. I don't want to get into that part, but I do want to discuss with you some of the tactics, um, the most basic tactics of brainwashing. And understand this coming from the highest offices in your government. Plain and simple. So brainwashing at its base, the description of what it is, is, is a um, unfair um, person, group, whatever, that has wicked intentions to make others subservient to them, um, to use underhanded techniques to get you to come into conformity, to come into the collective, to come into the hive mind and believe like they do, so you can be their serfs, so you can be their subservience, all right? Their number one method is isolation, all right? Now, what, what happened these last two years? What was the first thing they did? They isolated people. They isolated families. They said, you can't have holidays together. We're shutting down restaurants. We're shutting down bars. We're shutting down grills. We're shutting down your summer picnics. Don't, you know, don't go to grandma's house for Christmas. Why? Because you're going to kill her if you don't have the snake bite, right? A first thing they did was isolation. And the isolation is is continuous they keep bringing it back the isolation the isolation to separate you from your loved ones from your pack so you're vulnerable vulnerable to deception that's what they have done the second is to attack your self-esteem right now guys i have been watching this and i have been to the local school board meetings a couple of them and the narrative keeps coming across if you don't do this right if you don't do this if you don't do this, if you don't get the snake bite, you are less than a human. You just don't care about others. We're in this together and we want to save each other. But you, you are a threat. You have a, a, a less than moral um, um, ideology than we do. Your morals are lacking. See, the self-esteem, they're going to break you down. They're going to belittle you. And that is a constant through this whole thing. Uh, mental abuse. Guys, um, <laughs> mental abuse has come in many shapes and forms over the last two years. I don't have to expose on that for you to know. But I can tell you one form of that is is by not allowing you to, of course, it's the isolation, but within that meth mental abuse, within the isolation, not letting you see your elders that were in homes. I happen to have a, a friend um, who was locked out from seeing her father who had Alzheimer's, and which just in a couple months, um, he wasn't even that far down the road with Alzheimer's, but within a couple months, his, his mind... Um, lacked and he was dead she didn't get to say goodbye to her father she didn't get to none of it guys that is mental and emotional abuse by the power system by the power system uh physical abuse um i'm gonna leave that one out there uh but one form of physical abuse is lack of sleep and i'll tell you what if you talk to people in america right now the first thing they say is we, well, i don't sleep we're not sleeping um, you know, um, and they're not getting the adequate, you know, eight, eight hours, seven, eight, nine hours that they need to be able to function during the day because they're so stressed out about the fact that they might kill grandma or, or they might get this and die. Right. They've, it's just, it's just constant, 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 no sleep because they've been bombarded and these thoughts are going through their minds. So they're stressed and they can't relax. Another form of physical abuse is taking food away and making you hungry and guys what has the narrative been you take the snake bite or you're not going to go into the public space you're not going to be able to go get your groceries you're not going to be able to go to a restaurant you're not you guys it's 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 all this is an absolute simplistic master plan that has been been imposed on the masses in america and people are oblivious to it oblivious um, f number five is repetitive music and or speak. Oh my Lord. 
Guys, I, I, I ask you, I beg you to listen to the quash in this link after, after you watch my video. Watch it, listen to it. Because he plays the excerpts of the last couple months and of how, you know what, you may be able to do this, but you know, uh, freedom comes with responsibility and you don't, to hell with your freedom because if your freedom causes somebody else to die, you know, this kind of thing. If you don't do this, you're going to kill people. And it's just over and over and over. And then the narrative, he has other examples of, you know, um, you're not happy with the government and you, you know, for example, you're ha not happy with Biden. He, the guy crapped his pants in public and he makes comments to that, you know, this dimension riddled man. You are opposed to him being in that, that oval, you know, office that you are now a domestic terrorist. And now that talk comes in this repetitiveness, right? And, and, and what used to be music, they would bombard people with music. They bombard people with speak just over and over. You're a killer. You don't care. Uh, you're the enemy. Uh, you're the domestic. You, 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 and, and you're, and, and yours and people like them. And just listen, just listen to that link when it's done. Um, and here's another aspect of brainwashing that you're only ha allowed. Number six is you're only allowed to have contact with the other brainwashed, right? And again, this goes along with, if you don't take the snake bite or do this, you're not allowed into the public spaces, right? Well, you're not allowed in there because when people see you unmasked, when you walk in boldly and say, no, I didn't take the snake bite, you're a threat to the system that has already brainwashed those that are there. While you might sow some light into that dark space. They want the brainwash mixing with the brainwash so nobody questions. See, if you've been pulled into this system and you are so mindless that you have bought and sold your soul to this bullshit and that's what it is, you are not a threat to them. And so they want you joining and dancing with the others that are not a threat. All right. Um, the other is, um, it's number seven is us against them. And boy, if that is not this, <laughs> us against, you are either with us or you are against us. And they all, you know, it's we're in this together. And anybody who, who doesn't come along with what we're saying as, as being right, as being good, right? You are against us. And all of this is done in the name of the greater good. Well, guys, I'm going to make a, a honest and truthful statement here. Most of these people that are making these statements that they're doing this for the greater good, they're satanic, pedophile, rapist, criminal pigs. They have no moral backbone, no more than Satan himself does. And they speak with a forked, severed tongue and they come as an angel of light, just as Satan does, to deceive you, to, to make you believe they have the, the definition and the root word and to even to know what the greater good means. All they are speaking is collectivism, communism, authoritarianism, and control. That's not the greater good. That is not the greater good. Um, I'll stick... I'll stick with Jesus Christ and my Bible and what it says as the absolute truth on what the greater good is and what moral morality is. You don't take morality lessons from people who are, are, are evil, period. All right. Um, and number eight, the last one is, is love bombing. You guys can look up that up for yourself. But guys, I really, I really, really encourage you to, to look in the description here in the notes. I'll, I'll also put it, in, you know, I'll pin it in the notes on top, but I'll put it in the, uh, the description. Go to Legal Man, the Quash. You can get it on Spotify. You can get it on other platforms. You can get him on Twitter, all this, the, and, and click that link and listen to that. And it really, puts the voices, the talking heads, the brainwashing into perspective how much how much it is gone. But guys, if you're with, you know, one of the reasons, I, you know, I started this conversation without is I just can't listen to it anymore. The reason I can't listen to it anymore is because I see it for what it is. I have from the beginning and I, God had given me a, enough grace to at least listen and watch so I could see 
what the enemy was doing through these people. But I'm at this point now where I'm shutting it down because I've seen, I know, and I don't need to absorb any more of that. You know, and, and this message that I'm about to give you here, this is for you Christians. Um, God, you know, if you believe in a creator and you believe in good versus evil, right? The Bible, it doesn't matter if you're Christian or not. If you are a, a person that believes there's something greater than you, if there is a creator, right? An omnipotent, um, loving God, this, this is for you. There are scriptures over and over and over in the Bible where it talks about praying and for, for a sober mind and protecting your mind from the battle, from the attacks of the enemy. Guys, go get your Bibles if you're Christian. If you're not, don't worry about it. But the mind is, is the pinpoint, the first attack. It always is. It always is. In any historical war, in any um, uh, f agendas, political agendas, everything, if they can conquer your mind, you will physically, you, you'll be their serfs. You will become subservient to them and you will do what they say. So guys, whether you believe in, even if you're a, a, a non-believer, you don't believe in a creator or not, if you don't believe that the battle is for your mind, you are blind. So believers, non-believers, I don't care what religion you are, constantly pr be praying to, praying to the creator and say, protect my mind. Allow me to see the truth and the lies. Allow me to see deceit. Allow me to see those fork-tongued devils that are working for the, the, the evil one who is behind all of this. You know, pray those things. God is going to show you the truth. And you know what? If you are in a situation where you're being bombarded by these lies and that, that brainwashing is being propagated upon you, shut it off. Turn it off. And you know what? Some of you folks out there need just, just simply need to walk away from people. I know my husband comes home every day from work and he's like, he calls them the yahoos, you know. He says, oh yeah, the yahoos, you know, they were, we had in December, like around Christmas, we had 40 degrees here in Wisconsin. Oh, it's, you know, it's climate extremism, you know. It's the world burning up. Guys, I just turned 40. I just had my 44th birthday. And we have had Decembers where we've hit 40 in the past. Um, my grandfather's 87. He has had Decembers where they've hit 40, even 50 in the past. My great-grandparents have had Decembers. This stuff happens, all right? It doesn't mean that it's global warming or the end of the world. But, you know, he walks into this place at work and it's that's the chatter. You know, we're all going to die it's all, and see, that's, that's what this is all about. Brainwashing is about propagating fear into your mind and into your heart. It's about getting you to come into their fear tactics. And if you fear for your life, you're going to do anything. They want you to fear that climate change is going to destroy you and yours. They want you to fear that this virus is going to destroy you and yours. Stop buying the brainwashing. Stop. Guys, do your own research on how brainwashing works. Try to prove me wrong. I challenge you. But in the meantime, listen to this link. Listen to Legal Man. Listen to the Quash. And, and, and get, get a perspective. And again, I'm going to say it. Come out from amongst them. Step outside the system so you can see it for what it is. All right, guys. This is Stacy at the Battle Axe channel. God bless you all. Um, keep them sober minds. Pray daily and guys move forward with intention to, to take action against these things for your family. God bless.